I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a dumbbell hip workout. It's going to be low impact, so it's going to protect your joints. By using the dumbbells, we get your heart rate up into a fat burning zone. Bonus, because we are using dumbbells, a lot of these moves are strength related. You're going to build and tone lean muscle. So we're going to burn fat and tone lean muscle. If that's a type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Heels up and back. Let that to arms. Forward and back. I'm going to go for 40 second rounds. Reach out in front. You're just beginning. You can stop 10 seconds before the end of the round. That'll give you a little longer break. See how you do. And before you know it, you're going to be doing all 40 seconds. Bring the arms out and in. I'm using light weights, five pounds for me, but whatever light needs to you. Or if you're just starting out, you can do this workout without weights. The movement alone is going to get that heart rate up. So grab your dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use water bottles. Mine is to hold in the hand, give a little bit of resistance. Going to cross punch. Ready? Right arm. Punch. Bring another in. Other side. So we do want to move because this is cardio. Shoulders are down. Neck is relaxed. Strength on the upper body, squeezing the glute as you twist. You're going to feel the heart rate come up. And this weight is going to get heavy, even though it's light. If you ever need to put the weight down, if you feel like you need to put it down, put it down. Keep going and pick it up for the next round. And rest on that one. All right. On the uppercut. So uppercut, your arm is going to stay bent. Okay? I'm going to go wide, toes forward, side lunge one way, other way with the uppercut. We'll go with your right arm first. Okay? Ready? Here we go. Don't let me go too fast. Too fast. I want you to move, but really push that weight up. Right there. Weight is in your heels, lower body, sitting back, out of the toes. Back is flat. And I bet you start to breathe hard, a little bit harder than when we started out because as we get into this, heart rate's going to be going up and down. High intensity interval. Low impact though. And rest. Okay. Changing this upper body a little bit, but still using the weight. We've got a curl. Side to curl. When you curl, I'm going to curl the leg up and back too. So like that. So hamstring curl in the back and bite to curl up top. Right leg first. Here we go. Curl. Abs are tight here. Relax your shoulders. Arms are in. Don't let the arms flail out like that, okay? Are the muscles working? I do. Come on. We're halfway through this 40 second round here. Come on. It's a tough one. Hold those abs tight. Working that core. We have upper and lower body going like this at the same time. Good. Whew. All right. Let's rest the arms. So speaking of core, balance. All about your core. You're going to take a right leg back. Curtsy. You're going to come up with a kick, okay? So it's tough, however that looks. Show you some modifications. So if you can, curtsy back, all the way up, kick. Bring that toe back, or come up, tap the toe, kick, tap the toe, go back. If you're just starting out, you're gonna have the curtsy and the kick separate. You'll still get that balance work, and see, even if you're done this for a while, sometimes you have to put that foot down. Right there, see? 
Try and get as many all the way through and kick. If you're more advanced, the beginning, you're here. Tap, kick, tap, just like that. Ooh. Do your balance moves. <laughs> Those are your stabilizers in your core. Rest. Good. All right, you're going to do it on the other side. Felt like you were standing on it, but you feel that. Deep breath. Your muscles want oxygen. That's the fuel they want. So deep, deep breaths. Get that oxygen going. Here we go, other side. Down, balance, kick. Oops, there we go. Pop that foot down if you need to. Don't fall, okay? Happen to be left handed. A mirror of you, so I'm standing on my left foot. A better balance on this side. You might notice that one side's a little easier than the other. And rest. Nice job. Okay. Shaking out the legs. Upper body. Palms are facing each other. Punch, 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 punch. We're going to squat down and come up. Take the squat up if you need to protect those knees, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Up. You're not squatting right here. You are squatting. Come with me. One, two. One, two. Bring in your heels. Sit back. Backs are tight. Going, come on. And rest. Good job. Okay, we're going to go one way. And really work those lower abs, pulling the tummy tight. And you push the weight out. You're going to round the back, crunch out, crunch out. Just pull that weight, that weight into your waist. Here we go. Round back, straight back. Pull those abs tight, right there. Pull them tight. Making them work. You can hear me breathing. Woo! I'm moving super fast. But all these muscles going, add the weight, up goes the heart rate. Into a fat burning zone. Rest. Shake out the arms. We gotta go on the other side. If the weight is too much at this point, you can bring the weight down. Do this without weight. So have hands out, pull them in. Otherwise, like me, weight out. And we're gonna round the back. Pull, pull. Lots of abs in these exercises. So we're using upper and lower body at the same time. That core must engage. And we'll do these ab focus moves like this. Just more ab work. Almost there. Come on. Five seconds. Good. Whew. All right. Back to two weights. Deep breath. Hold the weight, elbows in, now rotate, twist, twist. All right, I want you to really move on this one. Here we go, twist it. Now depending on how you feel, feeling strong, bring the weight up here, okay? More advanced, bring it here. Elbows right in at the waist, lower body remains the same. Whatever you choose for upper body. Do you like what I'm doing? Switch back and forth. Try this. Almost there. Come on. Good. All right. Outway through the circuit. Nice. Okay. Bring the weight down. We've got a low jack. So, it's a jumping jack. You're not 
gonna jump. So you're gonna use the feet alternating out. As the foot goes out, weight goes up. Ready? Here we go. Modification. You struggle over your head like this. Shoulder problems you might. You can take it out. Take a rest of shoulders. Okay, we're resting them for 15 seconds. So this next move doesn't block your shoulders. Front dead left. Heels, weight in the heels. Slight bend in your knees. Flat back down as you come up. Pull the weight. Feet with your shoulder, with your elbows. Okay, ready? So it's down, pull. Down, pull. Think about weight in the heels. Drive hips forward at the top. Right there. Elbows lead. So, I see this a lot. Rotating the wrist like that. Pull up. See the difference? Keeping my wrist hanging neutral. Abs are tight. And rest. Okay. Pulling the weight back in. Gonna stay on one side, all right? We're gonna cross, crunch, come in from here, do that knee crunch, okay? And stay with the right arm punching. Come with me. Ready? Here we go. Cross, crunch, crunch, cross, crunch, abs, and glutes. So it's glute, ab. Squeeze that glute right here, squeeze. Crunch, pull that belly button to the spine right there. Pull it, pull it in. Because we're focusing on our abs, we hold our breath. Breathe, okay? You're holding your breath. I want you to focus on breathing while you work these abs, okay? Pretty common. I do it. I kind of noticed myself doing it a little bit there, which I wanted me to tell you. All right, you ready to go with your left arm? Take a deep breath. Here we go. Punch it out. Punch, crunch. Move your form. Squeeze the glute. Round the back. Abs in. Pull that belly button in. Right there. Come on, we have about 10 seconds. Finish this one. Balance out the sides. Whew. Breathe, rest. All right. Go into a squat. You're going to go deep or a little bend, depending on how the knees are, okay? Squat and stand. Front raise and down. If you want to put them together, come with me. Ready? So it's down, up. Don't swing the weight though. The weight, control it down. Lift it up. You're not doing the bend. A little bend and lift. I'm not doing the squat, I should say. Just a little bend in those knees. Activate the muscles. Get as deep in the squat as you can, if you can. Try not to drop the weight. Try not to swing it back. To myself, throw to control that way down. There we go. And rest. Okay. Going to one weight. And take this weight and just hold it at your chest. Let's step out to your right. Okay, we're going out the side lunge. Come up, same knee. Twist over it. Ready? Here we go. Over. Come up. Twist. In the twist, think about shoulder towards the knee. Rotate from the upper body and the lower body there. I said there were lots of abs, I meant it. Take 
feeling. Feeling good. Almost there. Let's finish this one. Come on. Finish the crunch. Nice job. All right. Shake out those arms. Head to the other side. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Got three exercises left, okay, in this circuit. Here we go. Take it over. Come in. Twist. There, come on, one more. And rest. Okay, other side. Feel the heart rate comes up. We're not jumping around at all. A lot of movement, a lot of muscles, all requiring oxygen. So up goes that heart rate into that, that burning zone. Are you ready? Going in three, two, other side. Here we go. Crunch, twist, and push. Good.
that's too much with this weight. Remember, you can put the weight down and keep moving. You're gonna punch with your right arm, kick with your left. So it's punch, punch, just like that. Deep breath. Here we go. Hands are tight here, make them work. your heart rate. I hope you feel that. Working hard. That's tough. Three more seconds. Come on. Rest. Whew. Okay. A little easier on the upper body. You got a hammer curl. So the elbow's going to stay in at the waist as you curl up. Now side leg raise. And we'll alternate. Ready? Deep breath, right side first. Here we go. Curl, curl. A little bend in your knee. So in other words, don't walk your knee. Not down here, but soft knee. I guess would be the best way to say that. Just don't walk it. Feel the muscles working? Quick tone in the muscles while we burn the fat. Great combination in my book. Keep going, come on. And rest. All right, there's your bicep. So now let's work at the back of the arm. Tricep lift, a little bend right here, but it doesn't come up here. It's just lift, lift, all right? Back to the waist area. Deep breath, right side first. Ready, here we go. Lift, abs tight, come on. Anytime you're working upper and lower body, like I always say, you're working those abs, but I want you to focus on pulling them tight, training them to be exactly how we want them, right? <laughs> like when we walk by a, by a mirror, we pull it in. It's pretty universal. We all do that. Feel back of your arms? I hope so. And rest. I'm gonna go to one weight. That's good news, right? Putting one weight down. I'm gonna hold the weight on either end. And this is a long, long lever. The weight's gonna come up over your head, but away from your body. Side squat, come up, and then we'll go to the other side. Ready? Here we go. Sitting way back. You are hinging forward, but your weight is in your heels. Make sure you're pushing that weight through your heels, not your toe or even the ball of your foot. Heels. Sitting back. If you need to modify this squat, you just take out the bend, you still do the movement, still get benefit. Don't want you to do anything that hurts. That just means you're not going to be able to come back tomorrow, right? I mean, we want to be consistent with our exercise. Consistent is more important than the amount of time. Good. All right, suitcase swing. Holding this, it's going to swing it like a suitcase. Bending or not, so standing on one leg, single-legged squat, take it back and up and back, or just hinge at the waist, but try to be on this one leg with the toe for balance on the other side. Way back, up and squeeze. And this weight swings. In this case, you're not controlling the weight other than to not drop it. It is swinging, not lifting. This side of the body, you should feel that. All the way from your heel, all the way up to shoulder. All that core in between, it's working too. So we're throwing your balance off by having this weight on one side. Good, all right, we're gonna go to the other side. Standing on the left foot, heel up on the right if you can. Abs nice and tight. Remember we're swinging, not lifting. A little, a little relief, really, for this arm. Ready? Here we go. Heel. Heel. Remember, weight in your heels. Check your form. Super important because if you are able to bend right here, we want to keep it that way. And the way to do that is really 
focus on your weight in your heel. When you bring the weight forward into your toe or the ball of your foot, it puts a lot more pressure on that knee. Okay, I like to call this one row the boat. We're gonna take a similar move, but we're moving into the inner oblique. So feet are close together here. You're gonna bend the knees if you can. Row the boat. Row the boat. So you hold the weight on either end, all right? Here we go. Deep bend or hinge. So you want me hinging here or bending if you can. You don't have to go fast on this one. I want you to go through the full range of motion. Get that weight way back. Bring it around, way back. One more, and rest, okay. Whew, catch your breath. Take this weight, pushing it out and in, heel, heel, just like that, okay? When you get to where you're breathing hard, you have a range, it's called your cardio range, and that's where you burn fat. At the lower end of that range, you burn a higher percentage of your calories from fat. So, let's get ready to punch, here we go. Cross kick. So, you may not burn as many total calories as if you went out and sprinted for the time it took to do a workout. You're gonna burn more calories that way, but you're only gonna burn about 40%. 50% from fat. When you stay in the lower end of your fat burning zone, which is where we are right here with this low impact, you're actually burning 70 to 80% of your calories from fat. So you can figure out the math, it comes to be pretty equal how many fat calories you burn, whether you're going 
super high impact, high intensity, or you're doing a hit up and down like we are. So, how do you find out what your zone is? Because everybody's different. We'll talk about that next. All right, we're gonna step out, hinge forward. You're gonna come back, pull, long more pull. All right, I want power in this. Over, push back. So pushing out of your heel right there. Now we are going forward into this knee a little bit. So focus on the weight in your heel. If the knee is bothering you, you do this with a hinge. Just take the bend out. So if you take the number 220, subtract your age from it, that gives you your unique starting number. It's gonna change every year, right? Because you're gonna, you're gonna age. Take that number, 220 minus your age, multiply it by 0.65, 0.85, 65 to 85% of max heart rate. The max heart rate is the 220 minus your age. Okay, that's your max, like that's, you don't wanna go above that. Let's go to the other side. So for fat burning, cardio, we want 65 to 85% of that number. So we're gonna step out. We stay in the lower half of that range, so 65 to 75%. That's where you get that high percentage of fat burning. So you should be able to talk easily, do a workout, even though you're breathing hard, like I am right now, I'm talking to you. And the more condition you get, the easier it will be. But you always wanna be able to talk. It's a good indication that you're in a range where you're burning lots of fat. You get your heart rate if you don't have a monitor. Just find your pulse in your wrist or your neck. stretch. Okay, grabbing two weights. Go back to the skater. I'm gonna skate, punch and tap, okay? Deep breath. In the break of the next one, I will show you. Right toe back, ready? Right arm punches. Where to find your pulse. You've never done that before. So you just do it for 10 seconds. Watch the clock. Now down 10 seconds. So you get that number, you multiply it by 60, or six, I'm sorry. Full minute, you know how your heart rate is. And that's good. All right, real quick. Find your heart rate in your wrist. Two fingers, not your thumb, okay? But right in here, in your neck. I'm gonna use two dumbbells in one hand, my right hand. Now so side lunge, ready to your left, here we go. Over as we come up, now up here, I'm gonna do an oblique lean. This is it. You got two more exercises, you are done, come on. So you don't use your thumb when you're trying to get a pulse because you have a pulse in your thumb mess up your number potentially. I find it easier to find my pulse in my neck. Maybe you will too, everybody's different. And you don't have to double up your weight here. With this oblique lean, you just create a pendulum over to the side, finish, to really lift the weight. And you don't lift with the shoulder, you lift with the waist. All right, I hope you Hope you recognize all of the ab work we're doing in here. Get ready. Lunge it to the other side. Here we go. Come on up. Lean away from the lunge. Good. Last 10 seconds. Ready to go out, go about whatever else you have planned in your day or evening. Because you got this done. Did something good for you. And that is awesome. All right, wait now. Congratulations. Good job. Okay, let's go ahead and stretch. I'm gonna step to one side, driving my hips back, weights in my heels, stretching the inside of my leg here. How do you feel? How do you feel good? How 
other side. Keep your head above your heart here, so don't look down like that. Keep this back straight, eyes out, three to four feet. Let's come on up, step back, toe up, the back of the leg. All right, let's go to the other side. spine, round, hips come forward, chin goes down, stretching from the tailbone up to the neck and across the shoulder blades. Reverse this, lift up out of it, take a deep breath. Exhale, round it again, try and go a little deeper. And then flatten and then just roll on up. Top, let's clasp the hands, push them out, pull to one side. How's your breathing? The more you work out, the more you exercise, the more you do cardio conditioning, which this was, including muscle toning, the quicker your heart rate is gonna come down into a normal range. Roll the shoulders back. So if you're just starting out and it's still pumping away, feel it, know that your consistency is going to pay off. And heart rate recovery is a great way to determine how strong your heart is. The quicker it recovers and comes back to a normal range, you know the more efficient it is. And that is a great goal to have because the most important muscle in your body is your heart. All right, let's roll your shoulders. And the other direction. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Take a deep breath.